In the book of Genesis chapter 12 and verse 1, God said to Abram, get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from your father's house unto a land that I will show thee. We haven't seen it all. God has more. We've still got places to go and things to do and things to see. Then in verse 2, God says, And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. God has blessed you and me to be a blessing. Some folks may have a different opinion, but some folks are just wrong. I am a blessing. Not only am I a blessing, but I am to be a blessing. Paul said, if you be Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Because of Christ, I am Abraham's seed and I am a blessing. We used to sing that old song, Abraham's blessings are mine. Let's take it just one step further. God said, I will bless them that bless thee. You see, some folks don't know just how easy it really is to get God to bless them. All you have to do is bless the seed. Just be a blesser. <laughs> Praise God. We've heard all of our lives how that God said, I will bless those who bless Israel. Well, if you be Christ, then are you Abraham's seed. And God said, I will bless them that bless you. And I'll curse them that curseth thee. I like being blessed. I like being favored. I like being picked first sometimes and not last all the time. This word bless means multiplier. When God told Abram, you're going to be a blessing, he said, I will make you a multiplier. When God said, I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee, he said, I will multiply thee. This word bless says, God will give me multiplying ability. So go look in the mirror and tell that person you see, I am not a divider. I am a multiplier. Not only am I blessed, but I am a blessing. Not only are you supposed to get blessed, but you are blessed to be mm -hmm, a blessing. Let's pray. Father, thank you for making me a blessing today. In Jesus' name, it is so. This is your partner in agreement, Pastor Arthur Ward, reminding you God has big plans for you.